now we will discuss about the types of reaction types of chemical reaction in or in in organic chemistry there are different type of reactions and now we will discuss about some type of reactions here uh, first one is addition reaction or we can call it combination reaction it is another name of addition reaction and second one is decomposition and third one is displacement reaction and fourth one is double uh, displacement reaction and another name is partner exchange reaction and it is also known as double decomposition reaction and another type of reaction is reduction oxidation reaction uh, we can classify it in a two category uh, that one is uh, reduction reaction and oxidation reaction and it is commonly known as redox reaction and according to energy changes we can classify another two categories first one is endothermic reactions and second one is exothermic reaction uh, we can write here endothermic and exothermic reactions so now we will study about these reactions one by one first one is addition reaction or combination reaction now first is addition or combination reaction uh, the speciality of this reaction is single product in this reaction we will see that the product is always single single means single type not a uh, quantity wise it is single it is a single type product now uh, we can classify it another three category uh, first one is when uh, element plus element form compound uh, that is the first category first criteria of this addition reaction means uh, when element combined with element and forms compound the reaction is known as addition reaction but the condition is that the, the product will be single means only single type of compound will be formed here uh, but uh, the reactant site in the reactant site the reactant can be more than one now we can take an example just H2 that is hydrogen plus O2 oxygen forms H2 that is water now we will balance it here 2 oxygen present so we can write 2 in front of H2 and here 4 atom of hydrogen so we can write 2 in front of H2 and the reaction will be balanced now we can say that uh, hydrogen it is an element and oxygen it is also an element but water is a compound because it has two type of atom first one is hydrogen and second one is oxygen so we can say that in this reaction element plus element combined with each other and forms one compound that is water and we can write another example huh? this reaction will be performed in presence of heat that is represented by delta now we can take another example H2 plus Cl2 forms 2 HCl and this reaction will take place in the presence of light in this reaction hydrogen is a element and chlorine is also element but the product that is hydrogen chloride is a molecule or molecule of a compound because it has two type of atom first one is hydrogen and second one is chlorine so we can say that this is a compound not an element so in this reaction element combined with element and form compound now uh, we can take another criteria uh, second one is when element combined with compound 
and from single type of compound the main condition is that product will be single uh, now we can take another example uh, the element is O2 and compound CO that is carbon monoxide and in presence of heat it forms CO2 that is carbon dioxide oxygen is an element because it has only one type of atom but uh, carbon monoxide is a compound because it, it has two type of atom first one is carbon and second one is oxygen and CO2 is also a compound because it has two type of atoms first one is carbon and second one is oxygen so we can say that in this reaction oxygen combined with carbon monoxide and forms carbon dioxide means element combined with compound and forms compound and that is another criteria of combination or addition reaction um, the product is single here so we can say that the reaction is combination reaction and we can balance it here uh, oxygen atom is 2 and we can write 2 here uh, overall oxygen atom is 4 and we can write 2 here and the overall oxygen atom will be 4 but the carbon atom is 2 here and also 2 here the reaction is balanced uh, now we can take another example when oxygen uh, react with sulfur dioxide it forms sulfur uh, trioxide and we can balance it here 3 oxygen present uh, so we can write 2 here and the oxygen will be 6 and we can write 2 here the oxygen will be 4 plus 2 6 and uh, sulfur is 2 here and sulfur is 2 here so reaction is balanced uh, this reaction is reversible and it is easily performed in presence of vanadium pentox in this reaction oxygen is element sulfur dioxide is a compound and sulfur trioxide is also a compound now this is reaction in which element compound uh, combined with compound and forms compound this is also another example of combination reaction uh, now we can take another third example third type of criteria of this reaction in which compound uh, react with compound and forms compound uh, now we can take an example of ammonia that is NS3 plus hydrogen chloride that is SCL it forms NH4Cl that is ammonium chloride ammonia is a compound because it has two type of atoms first one is nitrogen and second one is hydrogen uh, SCL is also a compound because it has two type of molecule first one is hydrogen and second one is chlorine ammonium chloride that is also a compound because it has three type of atom first one is nitrogen second one is hydrogen and third one is chlorine so we can say that in this reaction the compound react with compound and forms compound so the reaction is a combination reaction because in this reaction uh, product is also single or one so we can say that the reaction is combination reaction uh, now we can take another example uh, calcium oxide react with CO2 and forms calcium carbonate this is also a reversible reaction calcium oxide which is also known as cuke lime react with CO2 and forms calcium carbonate this is also known as lime in this reaction calcium oxide is a compound because it has two type of atoms and carbon dioxide is also a compound and calcium carbonate is also a compound so we can say that in this reaction compound react with compound and forms compound we can take another example of calcium oxide that is cuculine uh, react with water and form calcium hydroxide plus heat this reaction is exothermic in nature means the energy is evolved in this reaction so we can say that the reaction is exothermic in this reaction one calcium here and one calcium here hydrogen 2 here and hydrogen 2 here oxygen is also 2 here and also 2 here so we can say that the reaction is balanced uh, this uh, calcium oxide is known as cuke lime this calcium 
hydroxide is known as slack line as we know uh, the calcium oxide hydroxide is a partially soluble in water so we can say that the product which obtain here is suspension of calcium hydroxide means a uh, partial part of calcium hydroxide is uh, soluble in water and partially is insoluble so the solution is just look like just like a um, suspension of calcium hydroxide means the particle size which of calcium hydroxide which present in this solution is more than 100 nm means the reaction uh, the solution is like a suspension and this is also known as milk of lime if we filter it or we it for a uh, one night then we will observe that the insoluble calcium hydroxide will be settled down and soluble calcium hydroxide is so, uh, dissolved in water and then we filter it insoluble calcium hydroxide will be removed and we will get a solution of calcium hydroxide in which the whole calcium hydroxide is dissolved in water and this is known as lime water means milk of lime that is uh, suspension of calcium hydroxide but uh, lime water is not a suspension is a solution of calcium hydroxide in which whole calcium hydroxide is dissolved but in milk of lime uh, there is a insoluble calcium carb uh, hydroxide also present here so we can say that this is not a purely true solution it is a suspension of calcium hydroxide so here is a big difference between a uh, milk of lime and a uh, lime water but uh, we considered on, on this calcium oxide this is cube lime it is a compound and water it is also a compound and this is calcium hydroxide it is also a compound uh, the compound form in this reaction is single so we can say that the reaction is combination reaction or addition reaction so here is a three type of reaction in addition reaction uh, here is some notes as we studied three criteria first one is element plus element form compound second one is element plus compound form compound and third one is compound plus compound forms compound as you know all of three is known as combination or addition reaction but the first criteria that is element plus element forms compound is also known as synthesis reaction so we can say that all synthesis reactions are combination reactions but all combination reaction are not a synthesis reaction means vice versa is not true means uh, synthesis reaction is a subset of combination reaction or combination reaction is a superset of synthesis reaction but here also two criteria present which is not a synthesis reaction but also a combination reaction so we can say that all common all synthesis reactions are combination reactions but vice versa is not true now we can take example of synthesis reaction first one is haber process as we know this is the process of formation of ammonia by nitrogen and hydrogen nitrogen that is n2 hydrogen that is s2 it forms NH3 that is ammonia now we can balance it here two nitrogen atom present so we can write two in front of NH3 and here six hydrogen atom present three into six now we can write three in front of H and this reaction is proceed in presence of iron that is a 
catalyst and molybdenum that is a catalyst promoter and approximately 500 degree centigrade temperature and 200 atm pressure in this condition these are favorable conditions for this reaction in this reaction this reaction the reaction is take part fast you perform fast in this reaction nitrogen is the element hydrogen is the element and ammonia is a compound so we can say that in this reaction element plus element forms compound so this is a type of synthesis reaction this is an example of synthesis reaction now we can take another example of synthesis reaction magnesium burn in presence of oxygen and it forms magnesium oxide here oxygen 2 so you can write 2 in front of magnesium oxide and here magnesium atom 2 so you can write 2 in front of magnesium the reaction is balanced now we can say that element that is magnesium and another element that is oxygen forms compound that is magnesium oxide so it is also example of synthesis reaction this is simple activity uh, that we have performed in junior classes we take a wire of magnesium and burn in presence of oxygen and it forms white powder like material that is magnesium oxide